this lecture we'll learn how to create the configuration inside alarm logging to keep data for two, three and five years or more. As you remember, when we created alarms, we choose the option archived and this option is the needed point to archive data into alarm logging history. So this kind of alarms when it's archived we can keep how much time we want. But in general without the configuration our system won't keep data as long. We need to go to message tag, right click on mouse and go to properties. Now we see the alarm logging configuration and in archive configuration tab we see the archive size. This size is about the how much segments and how long it should keep. We see the size of all segments so our system is one terabytes and if we create more our system won't log data. We see the time period covered by a single segment so we see that every segment so can be one day in our system and we have something like max size of single segment so our segment this one day data cannot be bigger than 100 megabytes in general in this archive size in this configuration its default configuration our system will keep data only one week so only seven days and every day the system will create new segment and this segment will be attached to history on bottom of this page we see the time of the of the segment change this option is for the first segment change and after this segment change automatically with our single segment time. In backup configuration we need to provide the activate the backup, the enable this option and if we have seven days for all segments if we create the eight segments so we have one week and one day so without the backup configuration we cannot use the eight backup let's open the paint and let's talk about this configuration in details anyway if you want to read this in PDF, go to your attachments in, into attachment in Udemy and you can find the PDF with this kind of information. As you see, I paint seven segments as we see in archive size. So we have seven segments one week each of segment is one day every time we change the segment we go like segment one segment two segment three and how much we can see in time period of all segments so if we have two weeks we could have 30, 14 uh, segments but now if you have 7 
if 8 segment appear in our system we will have some kind of problem because our system max number of segments is 7 so system will make the override the first segment and we will lose the data if we don't create the backup of configuration usually I set up on midnight so my segments will change every midnight and every day and now if we go to backup configuration we have something like activate the backup so if we create this option and we we will use this every time we change our segment system is making the ba ba backup of segment of older segment and it's doing this backup to folder for, for destination path we choose and we can choose any folder inside our system we can choose also the network systems or the cloud or something it doesn't matter but we need to make the option activate the backup and we need to provide the path Additionally, we can create the alternative destination path where if something wrong with the first destination is, is, is not uh, something okay, we can move our segment to alternative destination. It's for the secure the data. Also, we have option to backup to both paths. So, every time our system is back up the single segment system will automatically go and copy this data to both paths in if our customer wants two three four five years of data we need to remember about the activate the backups and we need to give the correct destination paths for all the data. If you want to test this option, we, you can make the period of all segments, for example, for one day and every single segment can be one hour so after you run this simulation you can have a lot of segments every one hour so it's easier to find how it's working in the WinCC runtime system <laughs>